Hey guys, Jesse here, playing House Flipper. As you can see, we got two new posters here in the garage that I got, uh, you know, we, we got new posters now. Also, we got a thing that says Father's Day. We got a billiard table, we got a table football, a couple of guitars, some trophies and stuff. You know, just more, more content for the game. And uh, uh, besides hanging these two posters, I really haven't had time for, for anything uh, in the house uh, because, you know, we need money. We need money. Uh, so, um, over here, everything is pretty much the same that you saw in the last episode. You see, we got the picture of Mighty Cthulhu. And we got this thing over here. Still haunted. And over here, my desk. Let me close this door. Pictures of Gladys and Mike, you know, from the, the days and the zombie research initiative. And also we got like our weapons and our preparedness kit because you never know, you know. It's been a couple of decades since we destroyed the zombie virus, but you never know. You can call me paranoid, but I like to be prepared. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, I was thinking that there are like these little houses, for instance, over here, this one, Camping Bungalow, you see? So we might as well just try to flip one of these, you know, for a little bit of profit. A small house with a plot of land for renovation, but fully equipped. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna buy this house. You bought a new house, we're gonna go. Uh, Mumble without a first aid kit. No, that needs to change. Oh, that's the like the prepper. Okay, so you see this thing is nasty. Look at all the. You see this over here? There's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, blood. This is actually blood. You know, it's been a long time. The blood is even coming from uh, that vent over there. And we got all of this stupid trash all over the place you know i think that uh, the trash can is a new thing maybe they added it to the game let me see back here uh what is this cut the tree we got some weed you see there's weed all over the place so i'm just gonna take this weed real quick we're gonna have to like uh cut all of these things because even though in the last uh, flip that we did uh, we lost money because of all the cost of the of the furniture installed in the in the garden that was not appreciated by anyone um, I still think that is the best way to raise property value so for now let's just go over here and you know what we're gonna get rid of this stupid thing this thing and this thing and this thing and also we're getting like uh there's weed over here i cannot sell the weed i can only pluck it get all of this weed you see weed all over the place weed also some small cluster of weeds right here they're gone and uh, this is not weed. Okay, this thing is just, as I said, it's filthy. Because, you know, this house, even though it's really small and very well equipped, this house was, uh, it's, a, it's, it's the house of, uh, what the crap? The kitchen over here. I'm gonna take this. This house, uh, something really terrible happened, you know? Uh, there's not enough room, I'm gonna sell this. Um, okay, the item has been returned to the previous position and the things, I'm just gonna sell all of this crap. Selling all of this crap. I'm gonna sell them. I need a bedroom. Yes, I know you need a bedroom in your house. I'm just sell all of these things and this door and this door as well anything else here no no okay good and we're also going to change 
like the layout of this a little bit maybe I'm thinking I'll sell this this and we sell this uh, I'm gonna sell that and just clean it's very dirty yes I know it's dirty as I said this was the the there was a terrible murder in this place you know what happened here is that there was like a what come on and clean up here I'm cleaning you know I'm cleaning uh, there was this guy that lived here and um, you know after the zombie apocalypse uh, finished this guy could not really adapt to you know the new the new world so he was uh, he was like a psycho killer you know so uh, he kept luring uh, unsuspecting survivors here and he just, just straight up killed them you know he was murder so this this is really like the murder house you know and the thing is that the legend says that the victims of the murder here uh, their souls are trapped in this house so in order to like uh, freedom what we need to do is flip it you know? so as I said this this house it's a it's a it, you could call it like like a hell gate see so much dirt left I know I know it's a house that is stained with the blood of the innocent you know stained with the blood of the innocent and and also a house that keeps the souls of the innocent the souls of the damned you know? uh, so this is murder house or hellgate if you want to call it like that the final clean yes i know the buyers you know um the buyers are really really happy that I have cleaned uh, you know the, the dirt and the and the blood and all the things oh, come on where is this just like some phantom dirt okay it's clean this is clean and this is clean okay I'm just this thing is good okay we're going to install I don't like the the color scheme here so let's see floors floor tiles let's just go with we're gonna go with weird design you know we're gonna buy many of this there and just gonna put one there you see because as I said we need to make it pretty we need to flip it we need people to live here again uh, no floor walls wall tiles so the blood of the innocent is satisfied and they can move on out of this veritable hellgate uh, the welcome thing uh, I'm just gonna sell it because it's filthy okay good uh, I'm gonna start with the bathroom here uh, just gonna okay we got the installations good so first let's use this just gonna put it there nice and you know the psycho killer that lived here he was um, he was um, you know hunted by the people in this town and he was uh, he was burned alive and his remains were placed inside of some sort of boiler or something like that at a nearby factory and uh, there's a local legend you know uh, that he sometimes appears 
in the dreams of you know children and teenagers and um, I don't know if you heard this story I believe the the guy's name was something like Kruger you know Frederick Kruger you know F Freddy to his friends and as I said this guy never could uh, you know overcome the horrors he had seen during the zombie apocalypse so he went kind of psycho and he fashioned some sort of thing for his hand it was like a a, a glove with blades you know and uh, yeah this uh, the murder house of of Freddy Krueger, you know, traps the souls of uh, his victims in it. And as I said, the only way we have to release this is just to flip it and flip it good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it pretty. So the souls of the of the of the of all the victims, you know, they can go to, they can move on. Come on, man. And that way, uh, we can also make a, a little profit, you know, because you know we need a little dollar, dollar. We need a little coin, you know. Okay, we're gonna need more of these things. I'm gonna buy more, a couple more. Uh, and over here and if you are wondering why is it that so many of the houses that we sell or we work on and we flip how many uh, how, what, why so many of them are like haunted is because you know the zombie apocalypse was a very uh, you know uh, important event in terms of uh, uh, both the uh, regular and paranormal aspect of life on earth you know the entire place is just pretty much haunted now remember that billions were lost during the zombie war so we got psychos and we got murder houses and weird things all over the place. And this guy, Freddy, he was one twisted cookie, you know. Okay, I guess we're good. Just in case, I'm gonna put this here, although I know it doesn't really make a difference. Because over here, we're gonna put the door. But still, you know, in order to prevent water damage, so, you know, flipping houses in the post-zombie world is not a job for the faint of heart because you get a deal with the hit. This thing is just ugly. It's not, you know, it's not a thing for the faint of heart. Sometimes you come across a weird haunted, haunted places and, you know, and uh, like dimensional anomalies and all of that stuff, you know. So you gotta be real, real careful. You gotta place it right there. You see, we place the lights. There we go. Okay, good. Let me check the light. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, let's see. Shower. Mountable shower. You buy it now. We put it uh, right here. A washer. Where was the shower thing? Toilet. Oh, it's over here. Assemble this. We just put this. We screw this. So yeah, you know, Freddy Krueger's house, a murder house, a hellgate, if you will. Just a place of 
unimaginable horror that you can get for a good price. So we just put this here, we just screw it, screw it, place it, place it, just put it down, screw it a little bit. We place this, we screw it. There we go. And you know, the legend says that um, uh, Freddy after dying and just haunting the dreams he was uh, of, of children and teenagers he was fought by a lot of people you know and in the end like apparently he was defeated or he was defeated like several times but still you know the souls of his victims are still in here so the only way to release them is to do this you see to bring life and light to the house again so that's what we're going to do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip this okay uh, a toilet toilet we're gonna make a good toilet um, furniture no bathroom uh, toilet flatty fairy in a standard you know we're going to try to maximize with all due respect to the souls of the of the victims I want to try to maximize uh, profit so we're not going to use like really fancy or expensive uh, things in this place you know a washer this we get over here um, what do we have? Induction, refrigerator, washer, oh, bathroom. Okay. Multiple washer. There. Assemble. First, we gotta remove all of the, this thing that is used to keep the drum of the washer steady during transportation. You see, we remove this, we remove this, and we remove this, and the drum is free. It can spin. Now we put this, and we put this, and this. Good. Uh, I need to connect this over here, screw it, and we gotta connect that over there and screw this and just put it there and this thing goes over there and that is I think this thing move on its own which you know completely understandable given the fact this place is just haunted okay so radiator radiator we buy it we install it we assemble Put it there, put it there, put it there, put it there. There we go. And uh, as I said, we're going to switch this thing because this is going to be the bathroom. This is going to be like a combo, a kitchen, uh, living room. That's what we're going to do. And over here we need uh, something you know, with with a little bit of um, this one. You see, not very, not very expensive, but good. And we assemble this. Okay, so we just gotta screw this thing in and screw that in. Good. Hey, don't do that. Nice put it there and put it there and insert all the things here good I'm thinking we need to clean a little bit over here okay mirror uh, bathroom 
I wonder if the bathroom has a mirror here. No? Okay. We gotta buy this for the toilet paper. It is important. I'll place it right there. And we got a mirror. Okay. There. I'll place it, you know, there. Okay, good. This thing looks, uh, looks done. I think the bathroom is done. Okay, let's just put a door over here. Door. Internal door with knocker white. We're gonna put the door like there, you see? What? But this door has a knocker. Uh, front door. Internal door. This one. Okay. Just put it right there. And now we open and everything looks really, really bright. Okay. And well, as I said, what we're going to do is we are going to change this. This is going to be the bedroom. So for now, I'm just gonna move all of this furniture over here. I'm gonna move this there. And plates, cooking for grandchildren. I don't know what this, guy is talking about the first thing we're going to do did I clean the window in the bathroom I don't know I might have like picking spoons and stuff oh blades I mean knives you know but as I said Freddy he used the blades Okay, we're gonna move this like over here. Move this thing like over there. And you know what, screw it, we're gonna sell this. It's just full crap. So I'm gonna sell this as well. No place for books, easy, don't worry. There's going to be place for books. Yes, I know we are all concerned about the place for the books. And we're going to lose our crap if we don't have a place for the books. But please, bear with me for a second. Okay, we're gonna clean this thing. Nice. Clean. It's clean. That's good. Okay, close this door. Okay, so. Here, the bedroom. I'm gonna clean the window. Just clean it real nice and good. I want to clean this window. Also nice and good. Good. And we're gonna paint this. Uh, paint. Walls. Paint. And we're gonna paint it sleepy blue. If you remember, Sleepy Blue is a painting that allows to, you know, ward off demons and also, you know, sets ghosts at peace. As I said, the victims of Freddy, their souls are trapped here in this Hellgate. of a house so it is important to paint it sleepy blue okay so we paint sleepy blue that's good paint a little bit more see you paint slowly but surely here and here good 
I got like mad skills at painting, you know? That's why it's so fast and so efficient. Okay. And over here. Everything is good. Everything is done. I should refill the paint roller. There we go. Here. It's painted. And over here, it's painted. Okay, good. And um, I'm gonna sell this. And you know the floor. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put uh, fitted carpet blue. You see, we're gonna fit this place with carpets. Nice. There we go. And oh, come on. Uh, we gotta put some lights. Uh, I don't know where the light switch is. I don't see it. I'm gonna have to put it. So, switch. I'm gonna buy now. I'm gonna put it right there. And now we need a lamp. Ceiling lamp. Uh. We're going to use this reflector lamp. Okay, like there, you see? Nah, that's good, you see? There we go. Really, really nice. Can I move this? No, oh, it just shows you like the light cones generates. Okay, we need a bed. So, furniture. Beds. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead with uh, this bed, you know, because it is a it is a good bed. It is solid. It is boy. We're gonna put it over here. No, over here because this is there. And there. You see, we got a bed. And also, we're going to need. This is it, dude. Okay, that guy's like. That, that guy likes it. We're gonna need furniture, cupboards. Uh, this thing is kind of expensive. No, it's not expensive actually. Uh, double cabinet, wardrobe, parks. Uh, we're gonna get this one. Mm, this color. Okay. We're just gonna put it right there. There, you see and we're gonna put like a thing for the books here um, shelf shelf hanging shelf furniture mm, maybe it's in cupboards need a thing for the books you know hanging shelf old-fashioned okay this thing is rather cheap you know so I'm just gonna put one just uh, kind of flip it no okay I'm gonna put one over here I need many I'm gonna put one over there one over here and one over here there's your space for your flipping things, you know? And, um, like a desk. Desk, a little desk, you know? It's gotta be functional. Like this one over here. 
also cheap. This one I like. There you see. And I need like a chair. This chair. You see, you get your desk, you got your things. I don't have like a lot of input from the buyers, you know, which is kind of concerning, but it's okay. It's okay. Are we good with this? Yes, we're gonna place like a window, uh, I mean door. So, um, walls, no. Doors. We're gonna use this door Doors are expensive, you know. Okay. Just put it right there. Okay, see so you enter. You get the place for the things. We got this. Okay, good. And now we gotta paint all of this. Did I clean the windows? Yes, I did. Put this over here. We're gonna clean this window first. Clean it. Good. Clean it. Good. Clean it. Good. A lot of windows in this place. And that's kind of weird because you know you want you might think that a serial psycho killer like Freddy Krueger uh, he might have wanted some privacy. But no, he had a lot of windows and a lot of stuff. Okay, how are we going to paint this uh, paint? walls wall panels never use wall panels you know package of panels and you know what we're gonna do this I've never actually installed this so I don't know how they work okay we use this okay you see, you install the panels. We're installing it. It's gonna, it's gonna give like a a rural appearance to this, you know. Like, let's see, like it's a, it's a country house, you know, with wooden panels, very, very, you know, like farm, something like that. I don't know. Just put it in here. Not very fast in terms of, you know, application. You put them and they're, it's, it's kind of slow. But as I said, um, the first thing, first rule of house flipping is that we're going to make things look pretty. That is our main concern at this point. We're applying these panels. You see that, and over here, and here, and there, and there, and on the dental. Just put it there. Nice, and here. I'm just gonna finish this real quick. And then we can proceed to put in the, the furniture and the things. And the weird thing is that, you know, the buyers, they like, they shut up. They, they don't have any input 
after a while. I'm guessing they probably get a little bit upset that we don't really listen to them at the fir in the first part of the of the flipping, you know. When I'm just, for instance, sell this ugly thing. I'm gonna need more of these panels. Okay, let me just move here. Okay, we're gonna need more. We're gonna need like one and two and three. Anyhow, you know, any buyer that decides to buy the house of this former serial killer turned something of a, you know, demon or something like that. I don't know. Has to be a little bit adventurous. So maybe they will like not to you know, give exact instructions as to what they like. Okay, someone someone said something? I think I think I saw someone said something, but I'm not sure. We're just placing these things here. Good. And you know, since this area is the kitchen, I'm going to use tiles for this area there you see okay I'll use one more of this okay I'm gonna sell this and now we need tiles so wall wall tiles for this kitchen, we're going to use like this thing. So you see, we buy many and now we apply this one. There we go. It's gonna look real weird, you know. But remember that this colors like blue purple all of that good stuff helps you oh no helps you you know like soothe the souls of the victims trapped in a state of eternal torment in these hell holes uh, hell hell house Hellgate house, whatever you want to call it. But don't worry, don't worry. It might seem like a horror story, but it is not. It is a story of hope and house flipping. Yeah, we're gonna make it pretty. We're gonna sell it. People are gonna live here. They're gonna make good memories. And the souls of the dam are going to be able to continue their journey. You know, and escape the horror that used to be Freddy Krueger's house. I'm just installing these things. Come on. over here good now we're just putting this here and this here okay that thing over there and this come on can I jump a little bit okay good this Here. and we're almost done with this which is 
normally you know the the slowest part of the flipping there we go now we need some lights here and we're gonna be ready okay uh, so this so this okay are we good here I think we're good okay let's just move this and place it like uh, I wanted to keep this but I'm thinking we're not going to do it sell this okay we sold that what do you mean no separate kitchen there will be a kitchen shut up so furniture no kitchen okay we're going to use like mm, I need I need something that's you know cheap what about this one 60 okay these are good yeah okay we're gonna put this one right here there it is and now we're going to put kitchen cabinet with sink madame and this one cooking for grandchildren yeah that's good we're gonna take this thing well place it right here there we go I need lights lamp ceiling lamp this one for the kitchen there and one over here um, this 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 one is nice but it's for a it's for a kids room you know I want something, you know, this one is a little bit more expensive, but it's going to greatly increase property value. That's good. Oh, front door, you know. Doors. So, yeah. front door with knocker, this one. Let's just place it right there. Okay, good. Now we take this thing and we put it here. I'll take this, I'm gonna put it right, oh, come on. Oh crap, okay. There we go. And this thing, which as you can see is missing a blade because Freddy used that to craft his glove. And I know it might seem creepy at first sight. It is a bit creepy, but also, uh, you know, good. Mm, there. I'll take this plates just put it there by the window in case they want to use them we cannot stack the plates you know so I'm just gonna put one there and this one over here and also I'm gonna throw in a spoon and we're gonna sell this this and this okay so that's good uh, I need shell uh, cabinet no kitchen shelves do we have shelves here mm, low kitchen dryer no 
furniture, tables, sofas. You know, I'm gonna buy a sofa for this. As I said, it's going to be like a cheap sofa. We need to make the good profit. So I'm gonna get like this sofa. No, this one. In this color. You see, this sofa is gonna be here, right there. So you enter. And we're gonna put the entertainment center here. We need a teal television. One of those fancy televisions. This is, you know, more expensive, but it's going to increase the property value. People are gonna watch TV. And now we need a table, furniture, table. Uh, I'm going to take like this one. It's pretty cheap, you know. I'll put it here. Now we need a lamp. A standing. We're gonna take this lamp. I'll put it there. You see, it has light. Now we need tables for the kitchen. Uh, do we have anything? No. Furniture, tables. I need a table for like people to, you know, eat. I'm gonna put it right here, you see? There. I need a couple of, uh, a TV in the living room. Awesome, what a lovely living room. Okay, people are, are liking the things, you know? And we need chairs. Just like a couple of chairs. This one. I'm gonna buy like one that goes here. see one that goes here you see so they can sit here and have nice chats and stuff other uh, we need things hanging shelf and we're gonna put it like in this by many you see we're gonna put it one here and one here and this guy wants to put place for all books there and there okay we placed a lot of shelves you know now that's a place for my documents no this is not a place for your documents bro it's a place for these things but okay you, you can put the, the crap wherever you want. And over here we need uh, cupboards. Um, TV corner cabinet. No, this is TV corner. I don't want a TV corner. I want like something that's very flat. So we can put here, it doesn't uh, interrupt the flow of people, you know? Not seen something like that. Uh, but you know what? This one could be. Uh, it's a little. Hmm. Uh, dressing table and things. This one. So you see, we're gonna place it right there. Okay, I'm guessing this, this looks good. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Uh, I wanna place some doors and windows, curtains and blinds. We are going to place multiple narrow curtain. Uh, short curtain. There. There you go. We 
assemble this just screw it and screw it and screw it and screw it you gotta have some privacy in the bedroom you know and we're gonna buy one for this thing assemble there we go here and we place that you see this place looks really nice now the camping bungalow or as I call it the Hellgate or Freddy Krueger's house or the murder house and the other thing we're going to do is as I said we're gonna paint it we're gonna paint it good so at walls paint and we're going to paint it you know from the outside it's going to be sunny orange you know what because this is the house that had a lot of you know sadness and death and destruction so what better way to completely erase all of that than to paint it bright orange I mean bright uh, yellow or orange whatever it is. this is what color was this sunny orange you see this color brings feelings of life and you know possibly allows you to wake up in the morning or something like that I don't know I'm just painting Paint it real good. You see? And over there. And up here. And all the way up here as well. Now the wall is not too high, bro. The, the wall is not too high. You know, we can paint this really good. We're painting through the night because the flipping must go on you know you flip long you flip hard because that is how we roll yeah flip it just paint and flip it jump over here come on Paint it. All of this good. You see how we paint? We paint it good. On over here. Nice. We paint it. And over here. There we go. And now we paint on top of this. And as I said, we paint it really nice because we want to erase the memories of all the victims that died at the hands of Freddy Krueger, you know, Freddy Krueger's house. But as I said, Freddy apparently was defeated in his demonic form, like some time ago you know you gotta remember it's been almost two decades since since the end of the zombie war so we flip this I mean we paint this we do it good there we go it's not much that's left and then we're going to try to do something with the garden and then that's going to be it because as I said we want to make good profit on this place we don't have the budget to there we go okay I think it's done I think it's painted on the outside good yeah okay good I want to sell this 
Oh, sell this, sell this, sell this, and sell this, and sell this one. Okay, we need some, uh, we need some uh, decorations, lamps. We need some external lamps, you know. So, we're just gonna buy a couple of this. We're gonna put one over that. We're gonna put one over here. One over here in the back. It's gonna be right there. And one over here. Flip it. Flip it. I mean, flip the switch, you know? That's why we're flipping it. And you see? Quiet neighbor. Really nice. Incredible to think that uh, two decades ago, all of this was just overrun with the undead, you know? It was just a nightmare. But yeah, well, we're just going to mow the lawn and it's going to look really nice. There we go. And once people come back to this place, you know, souls of the damned will be able to move on. And they will be able to enter heaven or Valhalla or whatever. This house really needed a good flipping, you know. And I mean, a good trim in the in the in the grass and things. It is understandable, though, you know. You look at the house from the outside. If you remember, we had like blood dripping from the ceiling. It was like weird stuff. So it is understandable. No one want to get near it and just do a little bit of, bit of you know trimming of the grass. The good thing is that there are no moles, you know, no moles in this place. Oh, we got some weed here, you know, the devil's weed, I'm destroying all of the weed. We try to remain under the radar so it would not be exterminated. But we are veteran house flippers. We know how to find the weed and to get rid of the weed. There we go. You know, I think I'd mentioned it. it this in a in a previous video but I could have used this as a weapon against the zombies you know you install a few blades you know and you use them the most I have like similar was that that uh, you know uh, the thing that they use to prod cattle you know like a stun baton or something like that I use I use it to like stun the zombies, but that was usually for for cows, you know. And I had my clubs and my stuff. This would be nice with like the blades and just go around mowing down zombies. Oh, 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 now, of course, not every zombie you could do this. Um, there was like this special kind of zombie that blew up. You know, the the destroyers we call them, or the demolishers. Uh, I don't remember. We had several, you know, several names for them. I I personally like to call them, you know, blasters. And they would come out during horror nights, 
and they would just blow everything up. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not talking about the, the cops, you know, there, there were some cops that were infected and they were like, they all bloated and if you damaged them, they blew up. Now these this demolishers or detonators or whatever they were called, you know, the official name, I, as I said, I called them blasters. Uh, they appeared at Horror Nights and just blew up the place. It was a pain in the ass. So I imagine mowing down those guys at close range, probably not a good idea. Or also during the, the bandit wars, you know, those bandits that could shoot you. Also probably not a good idea to engage them in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But it's okay, it's okay. You know? We had a lot of adventures during the years of the zombie war. I still remember the fight against, for instance, the Umbrella Corporation, you know, which ended in the in the Firestorm Protocol, where we like destroyed like a good portion of a of a world detonating in, in a quadrio reactor. And what we did not know is that when we when we detonated the the reactor. And I was saved by Mighty Cthulhu. Uh, you know, when I was teleported out of that dimension. What we did not know is that the energy of the explosion, of the detonation of the Naquadra reactor, you know, travel through the wormhole and. Uh, uh, and eventually hit other dimensions, you know, and that is why we ended up having like a feud with alternate reality versions of ourselves, you know, of Gladys and, and Mike and myself. They called the, them, you know, the, the, the anti-zombie research initiative. And this alternate JC, you know, he got blasted with the radiation and developed like the weird creepy glowing eyes. So he was like a real mutant, like a monster, weird thing. And you know, we all know how that ended, you know. Uh, the, even with our, our initial victory over them, uh, they later on came back and that you know, eventually, it was the, the the trigger for the bandit wars. But well, it's been a long time. You know, in the end, we prevail. In the end, we manage to cure the zombie virus. Not not cure it, actually destroy it. But, you know, when we released the high energy wave that destroyed the zombie virus, Mike got caught in a random portal event. And he's probably, you know, jumping around the multiverse still. Which is, if you ask me, is fitting for someone like Professor uh, I mean, like Doctor uh, 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 Gordon Mike Freeman. That that's that's his full name, you know, Gordon Mike Freeman, formerly of Black Mesa. And well, you know, the reactor when we released the energy wave that destroyed the zombie virus, the reactor at the main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative overloaded. And well, Gladys is just there and everything just blew up and you know Gladys is buried there under the rubble and since her main her core CPU is a zombie brain you know she 
she she she stopped working. I I, I never actually saw the remains, you know, because I was running from the explosions and the the destruction of the main facility of the Zombie Research Initiative. That area is really radioactive right now, highly contaminated. So it's not a good idea to go there. If you remember the the house of the thrill seekers that we that we you know we worked on, we turned it into, into a kindergarten. They appeared that they had like tours to places like like the, the remnants of the main facility of the zombie research initiative. But if you ask me, it's crazy. It's crazy. Nothing there but contamination, rubble, and dark memories. Okay, let's just go over here and claim this. But for now, what we need to do is flip this demon's house. Flip it good. Yeah. That way we'll be able to release the victims of Freddy Krueger from their eternal damnation. It's already looking very cheerful, you see? And you get the thanks. You get everything. It's nice, really nice. I'm gonna get rid of this tree over here. It's not, you know, not very pretty. Okay, remove the tree trunk. I'm trying, okay, stop jumping around, stupid tree. And, okay, this one as well. There we go. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna put some barbecues and stuff. Okay, now we remove this. Okay, we're gonna put like in the house thing, furniture. We're gonna put, um, we're getting a lot of furniture, you know? Uh, sofa, chairs, stuff. We're gonna take one of these tables. We're gonna put it right here. And we need a chair. Uh, chairs. Numa chairs. Yeah, that's nice. Over here, and over here, and over here. And also, we need um, sun chairs, a couple of sun chairs. We're gonna get these ones, you know. We're gonna get a couple here and here. We need a pond. Uh, surfaces, no. Other um, garden sprinkler, tool house. This tool house is too expensive. Not gonna use that. Recreation. We're gonna get like a grill, but this one, which is cheap. Boy, now I'm gonna have it right there. You see, and also a fire pit, which is going to be like over here. There we go, and swings. Let me see a very. Mm, you know, we're gonna get this so the children can play and a tire swing, wooden children swing. Buy now. Okay, we're gonna buy this one there. 
we're gonna assemble this. Replace this. Replace the things. It is assembled. And also over here, swings, outdoor gym. Um, let's just put like mm, a bike rack. I put the bike rack over here. And what else do we have? Architecture? No. Furniture? I think we're good. Tables. Do you need another table? Mm. Mm, no, I think we're good. Benches. Uh, small bench. These things are expensive, you know? What else do we have? Sun chairs, no. Recreation, other. Do we have another? No. Architecture, no. Where are the ponds? Recreation, fire pit, playground, swim, let's see, pond. There are decorations. Decorations. Okay, we need the dog house. We're gonna get the paw. It's gonna be over here. And we gotta get dog bowl, of course, which is going to be here. And over here, we're gonna have uh, Streaming pond. We're gonna have this pond, Neptune, which is rather big, but only, you know, costs like 50 bucks, which is nothing. You know, see? Okay. Uh, I'm trying to. The hole is now dug. Insert the pond. Put soil. Fill it. It's filled. And we can walk on water. That's nice. And I'm guessing we need some beds. I mean some... Uh, some flowers, you know. So... Uh, plants. Decorative grass. Okay, something cheap I want. Something really cheap. Like these things. You see? They're gonna look like this. We're gonna buy many of this. I'm gonna put it them right here. There we go. And I'm gonna put it right there. This is how Freddy Krueger's house, you know, which is a hell gate or something like that, comes to life. New life. You know, flip it. Just flip it. Uh, yeah. It's daytime now. Okay, what else? Flower beds. These things are really expensive, you know? But I think we can like place some of this. I wanna place them like around this. You know, around this tree. We're placing them around the trees. 
Also, I just noticed that the ugly ass tree over here. So I'm going to take care of that real quick. Okay. There we go. Here and here. And here and here and there. So you see houses with plants, with the pretty flowers, so the spirits of the damned just can rest in peace. Now we're just gonna get the axe, we're gonna chop this good. There we go, chop it. It's gone. See, Freddy Krueger's house is going to look real nice. It's going to be a house where the family can conifers. These things are expensive. Edible plants. Uh, I'm gonna put like a small pear tree. I'm gonna put it right here. Plant it. Freddy Krueger's house is going to be a place where a family can build their future. Put the soil around. There we go. And now we do this. Planting successful. Okay. What else do we have? Mm, a carrots, cherry tomato. I want to plant a couple of cherry tomato bushes, you know? This, I want to plant like back here. Okay, plant it. We make the hole. We insert the thing, we put the soil around, planting successful. We did the hole, dig long, dig hard. That's how we roll. We insert the plant, we water it, planting successful. You see, first open the hole then insert then put it around and then just water it hole insert close it and just let it go i like when we plant the cherry tomatoes here put the soil around there we go now we dig long dig hard one more time put the plant put the soil planting successful nice okay what else do we need here um I, I don't know what the hell this is. More plants, but flower beds. Um, fences. Panel fence prosto. These things are expensive. Do you have anything that's not as expensive, like cheap? Uh, what is this? Roll border. Okay, we're gonna buy many of these things. I don't know what the hell are we supposed to do with this, but possibly we can put them over here so people don't park the freaking bikes 
in the wrong place, you know? This is going to trigger someone. But it's like, you know, actually it's triggering me, so I'm just gonna try to put them in an orderly or semi-orderly fashion. There we go. There we go. And there's one over here. And there's one over here. Okay, that's more acceptable. Okay, and maybe a few lamps. Uh, no, in the garden DLC. Decoration, lamps. Um, I'm gonna need like cheap lamps. Really cheap lamps, like this one. No, this one. You see, we're gonna put like some there. here one there and one there and like once around here you know at random locations you know you see we're just placing the lamps so this garden looks really good at night. Okay, I'm guessing we are now like done. I don't know what else can we like put in this thing that's not really cheap, you know? Let me see if we can get some sculpture. Garden gnome. You know this, this, um, this thing is surprisingly cheap. So right here, we're gonna put them like guardians of the tomatoes. You see, like there. Yep, they guard the tomatoes. Okay, I guess we're good, you see, this is Freddy Krueger's house. You see? I'm thinking there's might be a little bit uh, this is for uh, the kids. I'm just gonna put one over here. And also one for these things. You know, for drying the clothes. This is more like a utilitary area. Uh, garden sprinkler. Okay, I'm gonna put a garden sprinkler, sprinkler here. One here. One here in the middle. One here. One here. And one here. One over there. One over here, one over here, and one over here. Okay, we put some garden sprinklers. There you see. This is Freddy Krueger's house. There it is. That looks really nice. Okay, well, we're done. Sell it. Submit so garden, uh, American garden, English, modern, um, mm, let's just try American, crop, uh, wood and stone, uh, no let's just go with American, probably not going to get any points. Hey, house price increased by 15%. That's good. We need a little bit more on the plant and equipment section, but we get plus 15%. That's good. 
Okay, so now we're gonna put this on auction, you know? Okay, come on. Give me, give me nice 50, 51, 51. Okay, we're going to negotiate. Increase payment by 5,000, bruh. I'm gonna need 5,000 more, you know? 5,000. Now negotiate. Hey, bruh, I'm gonna need 5,000. This is acceptable. We got the good profit. Accept offer. And we did it. Look at this. We now have $305,000. You know, we get the good profit on a small flip. Okay, guys. So, yeah, well, that was the, the flipping of Freddy Krueger's house. So, I hope you enjoyed this. That's it for now. See you next time. Destruction and creation are the same thing after all.